ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Why aren't you on the Millennium Tour? Man, because they ain't have enough money for young Draco, man. You know what I'm saying? They got to cut that chick. 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 I need my 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 ends. I need my chick. I need my chick. Cut that 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 chick. I need my 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 ends. I need my chick. I need my chick. Cut that 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 chick. I need my 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 ends. I'm on fire right now, fuck nigga. Cut that check. Cut that check. Cut that check. Hey, cut that check. What? I need my check. What? I need my ends. Hey, cut that check. What? Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm back with another damn voiceover, okay? So a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about the whole Soldier Boy situation. We've been following up with Soldier Boy. We've been sipping tea on Instagram and just watching all the fuck shit ensue, okay? So if you guys don't know, Soldier Boy is on this one-man campaign to show the world that he's nothing to be fucked with and that he put a lot of dudes on, okay? So Soldier Boy initially went ham over the weekend, and I had posted the initial video where somebody was asking, was he going to be on the Millennium Tour, as we all know, B2K, Chingy, um, and a bunch of other people from like the early 2000s, they're all doing this huge Millennium Tour, and so a lot of people were wondering, okay, is Soulja Boy going to join? What's up with Soulja Boy? And so this is what Soulja Boy had to say. Go ahead and check this out. Why aren't you on the Millennium Tour? Man, because they ain't have enough money for young Draco, man. You know what I'm saying? They got to cut that check, cousin. Everybody said they, you should be on it. They got to cut that check. I need my check, man. I need my ends. I need my percentages, my, uh, Millennium Tour. Cut that f***ing check and get Soldier Boy on there. Can turn that motherfucker long enough. I'm tired of you, little bro. bruh. You niggas trash, bro. Making all this trash ass f music, bro. Saturating the game, bro. Get the on my way, bro. I said back 2018, I said back 2017. And watch all you lame man rap. Bro. Sit down and f whole rap game up, bro. Trolling this shit, bro. This shit ain't no fucking game, bro. I'm behind this shit. I've been in this shit 10 years. I started rapping when I was 17. I'm 28 now, 2019. I got passion, I got heart in this shit. Bro. All you rap, nigga. In 2017 and 2018, I sat back and watched y'all, bro. I watched y'all, bro. Fucking trolling the rap game, doing all this shit and the whole rap game up, bro. But I'm on fire. Nigga, I had the biggest comeback of 2018. Niggas up here talking about Tiger. Tiger? Tiger? Huh? Tiger had the biggest... Man, get the f*** out of here. I had the biggest comeback. I thought it was over with for me. After that Chris Brown shit, after that Migos shit. Y'all tried to count me out, nigga. I ain't forgot about that. I forgot. I forgot about none of that shit. So I'm back with a chip on my shoulder. I'm back. My mama. He just die behind this. Y'all trolling the rap game, bro. Fuck new rap because 2019 is my year. It's my year. I done waited long enough, I done sat back. First of all, I want to say, for everybody that's saying like, oh, Soldier Boy look like he on drugs. Soldier Boy look bad. Soldier Boy look like he on crack, he on powder. Bitch, don't play with me like that. I ain't never did crack in my life, bitch. I'm a bitch, I'm a million now. I'm worth motherfucking $30 million, nigga. I never did cocaine in my life, nigga. Don't play with me like that. But I just was in a bad car accident two days ago, bitch. I almost lost my life. I hit my fucking face on the fucking di dashboard of the car, bitch. And my shit swollen, my teeth. I need surgery and shit, nigga. Don't be making fun of my fucking appearance and my fucking looks, nigga. 
All right, so you guys just saw what Soulja Boy had to say. So that's where that remix came from. And so then later on, Soulja Boy, honey, he just went in on the internet and basically stated that social media, you know, needs to come correct, that he's had the best comeback in 2018. So after he went on that rant, he basically declared war on the entire hip hop industry. You screamed at a lady, you bugging the fuck out, homie. Yo, you bugging out. You got shit all over your face. You bugging out. You high, you snack, I understand. But you bugging out, homie. I'm not worried about no I'm not talking about no drugs. I'm saying you high weed. I'm not saying you on no drugs. And so he goes on to the Breakfast Club. This was this past Monday or Tuesday. He goes on to the Breakfast Club and he's basically saying that, you know, Drake took from him. He put a lot of dudes on the industry. A lot of people took his ideas and ran with it. And, you know, a lot of folks thought that, oh, he's just pulling shit out his ass. Drake would never take nothing from Soldier Boy. But Soldier Boy, a.k.a. Soldier Man, he ended up providing some receipts showing that Drake did take his bar line for line. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Why did Meek Mill have a bigger comeback than Soldier Boy? What, I, me personally? Why? Because he was locked up. Yes. Okay, he, I was locked up too. They came up with a number one record. The Drake beef. Look yo! Crossed, look how he Yo, over. Meek Mill ain't beef with Chris Brown and was finna box with Floyd Mayweather. He would be with Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. <laughs> Jeez, nigga. Yeah, Drake? <laughs> Drake? <laughs> the nigga got body by Pusha T? <laughs> the nigga is hiding his kid from the world, but his world wouldn't hide from the kid? <laughs> Arby Graham in a wheelchair? Drake? Yes! Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop telling me like I ain't teach Drake everything he know. Hold on, you taught Drake everything he know. Y'all ain't hear Drake on his first song. Tell me what's really going on. Drizzy Drake back in this thing already. What's that? That's oh, soldier. Shit. That's oh, my bar. He copied my oh, whole. That's kiss me through the phone. He copied my whole flow. Oh, Word for shit. bar for bar. Oh. Don't act like make Drake. Don't do that. Tell me. What's really going on? Drizzy back up in this thing, I'm ready. What's happening? And then they tell me what's really going on. Soldier blow up in this thing, I'm ready. What's happening? All right, so you guys just saw a snippet of the interview, and you guys just saw him post, you know, the bar that Drake took from him. And then, of course, that caused even more controversy because people have been saying for years that Drake is a thief. He befriends all these up-and-coming artists only to take their style. He, he did the same thing to a lot of UK artists in the grime scene. Um, Skepka was one of them. And then on top of that, if you guys remember, I did a video about two years ago when XXX basically blasted Drake for stealing his style as well. So this caused even more of a conversation last night on social media. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I like bitch who is your mess, ayy. Can't keep my dick in my pants, ayy. My bitch don't love me no more, ayy. She kick me out of life, bro. All right, so you guys just saw that. So now that's not crazy enough. Him and Famous Dex have been beefing for a while. He's been out for a while. And basically, Soldier Boy is saying that he really helped to put Famous Dex on. And Famous Dex isn't paying homage. And he has no business trying to clown Soldier Boy. So Soldier Boy posted this video on his Instagram page basically telling Famous Dex, yo, you need to chill out. You know, so this is the video that he posted. Check that out. They say, they say, Dex, you saying the Soldier Boy? That's on DMG, DDB. S-O-D-G-B, huh? S-O-D-G-B, what? D-D-B. So, what up, bro, bro? I'll be in L.A. the morning time. You already know how you rocking. Feed them, niggas. So after he posted that video of Famous Dex, then Soldier Boy goes on this huge rant last night on Instagram Live. And shout out to my tea sippers that were sending me that shit in the DM. I was like, what is going on with this young man? He's just wilding, okay? So he's going off and he's telling Famous Dex, you know, because he sees Famous Dex in the chat. And he's like, nah, call in, call in. I got something to say to you. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch the video of Soldier Boy once again wilding out. And then Famous Dex gets on the line and they just start arguing. It goes crazy. Check this out. <laughs> Nigga, we can go live right now. I see you in the decks. Get on the... Yeah, that's right. I'm able to join. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. You scared, nigga. Get on camera, nigga. You guys just saw that video. So then today he goes on to Complex. He goes on to Everyday Struggle to interview with um, DJ Academics and the other two people on the show. And so basically on there, they're getting into it. He's calling out DJ Academics. Long story short, by the end of the interview, you know, they kind of make peace and, you know, they're somewhat 
best friends or whatever. But he blamed DJ Academics for the whole Takashi 69 situation. And then he was saying that DJ Academics does not understand the history of hip hop and how he put on Tiger, how he put on, you know, Chief Keith, how he put a lot of these guys on and, you know, helped to make them mainstream, but he doesn't get his credit. Man. You're basically using the 6ix9ine tag. Man, yo, 6ix9ine is my fucking son. 6ix9ine got all that trolling and shit from me, nigga. When I was beefing with Chris Brown and Migos and calling you a bitch and saying fuck DJ <laughs> Academics, he got that from me, stupid. He, got that from he took my whole trolling shit and, and went to the next level. Y'all should be thanking me, nigga. All y'all owe me. He was SODMG before he you signed it. You before he signed the Interscope and before Kanye got on I Don't Like. So yes, I discovered him. Well, he was him. bubbling in Chicago already. Man, stop playing with me, act. He wasn't? Tell me he wasn't. Come nigga, on. once I got on, on I Don't Like, it was on the radio in Chicago the same day. Chief Keef was never on the radio before that. I was the first mainstream artist to fuck with Chief Keef. I put him on. I discovered him. He would tell you that. Stop playing with me. You Why are you trying to rebuttal with me with some shit the nigga would tell you? So you call Salsa right now, he'll tell you that. So why are you trying to argue that with me? Listen, the only person that, that responded to all these claims of you put somebody on is Famous Dex, and he said, fuck out of here. Exactly. Because no, Dex no, is a fucking no, crackhead. Oh, that's, what I'm saying, oh, that's why I wanted to know where the fuck that Dex where they go fucking, wrong between he high. Dex, Dex said just, you on drugs. Dex just fell asleep. You say you on coke. Dex just, bro, bro, I never did coke a day in my life. I, that rumor came from Cat Stack. She crushed up some Tylenol pills and made a video and lied on me and people ran with it. I never did coke a day in my life. I smoke weed and sip a little lean. Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm worth $30 million, bro. I'm a legend. Don't do that. At the same time, my nigga, famous Dex, he a fuck nigga. He's disloyal. You know what I'm saying? He know what I did for him. And if you go on my Instagram and you check my last video, you're going to see him standing in the hood saying, S.O.D., I'll be in L.A. tomorrow. Thank you, Soldier Boy. So my proof is, is in the pudding, bro. And one thing I will say is this. He's not lying. You know, as crazy as Soldier Boy is, as wild as he is, you know, I do feel like he does a lot of stuff for attention. Um, He does a lot of stuff to market himself. Even with this whole Gucci situation with him wearing that dry ass, raggedy ass Gucci headband that's going viral um he probably will come out with a whole new set of soldier boy headbands we know soldier boy is about his business and he's also trying to promote his new gaming system the last one nintendo put a halt to that shit because he had a lot of pirated stuff in there but um he has another gaming system so it's back to the drawing board for him but i think you know soldier boy does not get as many props as he should he did help to put on a lot of these up-and-coming young um artists so i will give him at the end of the day hate him or love him he's been in the game for years and he's put in a lot of work over the years he was the one who pioneered the whole putting your music online you know starting a dance craze soldier boy came up with the social media era you know what i'm saying he posted his video on his dance on youtube and that shit went viral he was one of the most famous teenagers at that time he made so much money and, and because of soldier boy being an innovator and doing that he laid the foundation for a lot of these people if it wasn't for soldier boy a lot of people wouldn't have thought to put their music online and create a dance and everything else so he did lay that foundation and people had to give props where props are due okay he's wild he does you know go off on these tangents and rant and rave but at the end of the day soldier boy has put in a lot of work and he doesn't get as much props and i feel like people don't take him as seriously or give him his props because of the way he acts and his antics you know this man is closer to 30 than he is 20 and at some point in time you have to grow up and carry yourself like an adult all this ranting raving and going in and dragging other artists and you know cussing them out it's not that serious he even went on to okmagazine.com and drug the shit out of Kanye West. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Kanye? <laughs> Kanye? You talking about the dude that ran on the stage and took the mic from Taylor Swift? Kanye? He's disrespectful. If he would have did that to my little sister, it would have been a problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't do that, bro. You disrespectful, bro. He, I just don't agree with the stuff he's been doing. Yeah. So he running around talking about, I'm Walt Disney, and I'm Steve Jobs, and I'm... Elon Musk. No, you not, bro. You ain't none of that. You ain't do nothing but came out with a couple pair of goofy tennis shoes, bro. And them shoes ugly. The <laughs> Yeezy's ugly, man. Okay. You... Nigga, call me or something. I don't know. But until then, I'm going to keep picking on you, bro. You trash. Your music whack. Your clothes ugly. You, 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 you crazy, bro. I ain't heard from Kanye in how long? Kanye, why I ain't heard from you? Why you ain't picked up the phone and call me? Why we ain't did no music? But you doing songs with 6 9 and getting shot at and shit? Man, fuck out of here with that stupid shit, bro. You wearing Trump hats, you doing cap shit, you crying on Twitter every week about Drake. Bro, your wife Kim Kardashian, bro, every she beautiful. Every rapper in the rap game follow Kim Kardashian. How you gonna get mad at Drake for following Kim Kardashian? You look lame, you need to stop that, bro. You ain't Walt Disney, you ain't Steve Jobs, you ain't Elon Musk, you ain't did nothing but come out with a pair of tennis shoes. Who the fuck is Kanye West? 
Kanye ain't never dressed this fresh his whole career. He be wearing oversized, homeless clothes and charging $1,500 a shirt and goofy shit. I'm really in the streets every day, bro. We not rocking with Kanye right now. And it just is what it is. All right, y'all just saw that video of him dragging Kanye. So like I said, you know, Soulja Boy definitely has no chill. And he wants his respect. And he said, you know what? At the end of the day, I done put in a lot of work. And you guys are going to learn to put some damn respect on my name, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Soulja Boy Tellum. And him basically trying to show the industry that he's put in work. He's put a lot of people on. A lot of people have bitten from him, taken from him only to not give him his respect and his props. So let me know what you guys think about this whole Soldier Boy fiasco. Do you agree with what he's saying? Do you feel like he did pioneer and pave the way for a lot of artists and he doesn't get his props? Or do you feel like Soldier Boy needs to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up and go sit down somewhere? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.